Hello my fellow hunters, in this video I gonna show you the best, mathematically best elemental switch axe. I show you two different switch axe builds, one for the battery of switch axe and one for the Kushala Dora switch axe. Both builds are mathematically the best builds you can create and yes, first I gonna explain you the Barry of set and after that the Kushla Daura switch X set. Um, sorry that video takes a bit longer than I planned because of the Diablos run. First I wanna make a good time and yes and I get a sub 4 run with Diablos and I show this run with the Barry of switch X you at the end of the video like I always do. Uh, yes, I only I not uh, wanna only show you the set and the morph and <laughs> that was it. Uh, I think it's it's very nice to have a good hunt at the end of the set showcasing. I think it's a very important part of it. Okay, first of all, I show you how I calculate my stuff. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, this is my calculator I am actually using. It's updated. Uh, now with full DPS cycle support and yes for the damage calculation I don't include the head of the training dummy because I've written it here the hit zone value of the head is absolutely unrealistic you can see it's 100 and I see a lot of users showing his super duper DPS set in the training room and only attacking the head but I think it's really it's really yes it's kind of stupid to do that because it's just unrealistic hit zones tell me a monster excluding nava that has a 100 uh, raw weakness so i'm using um the 60 20 hit zone value so um, for raw 60 and elemental 20 and also for the legs because I think it's very important to include the legs because uh, yes weakness exploit can't be triggered and and at the legs and so it's very good for damage calculation now uh, we can see a huge difference between sets where we are using seven crit eye and no wax and we're using only wax and no crit eye i show you the differences later um okay yes uh, this Set has also rapid morph support. So uh, sorry, this um, program. So you can see if I change rapid morph to level one, you can see we only have 140 PS. If I go to level two, we have 114. Level zero only 100, and level three 125 DPS. Or we can also change the file type. You can see here. So elemental file is pretty good, you got the most DPS with a elemental file actually. And we can also change the power prolonger levels, you can see it here. 122, 127, That's, the difference is not so high because it's just elemental file. If I choose a power file you can see here from 115 to 122, so it's a little bit higher. Yes, you can also change the sharpness and other stuff, okay. Um, for instance, if we are looking to ice weak monsters like Diablos, we can see uh, the, I think the average hit zone value is about 40. So you can see, uh, yes, on the head we can trigger weakness exploit, but with the switch X you can't reach the head, so it's garbage. The only thing you can reach with the switch X it's the abdomen. Yes, and if the Diablos is in a pitfall trap or what else, you also cannot trigger the weakness exploit. So I think it's pretty garbage to check the damage output on the training area's head. I think it's better to check it on the legs and the body, like I explained before. And it's also better to use uh, yes more crit eye instead of weakness exploit. Because with the switch X you are no gunner and always aim to the head. There are enough flying wyverns or other monsters where it's very hard to hit the best weak point actually, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna compare the best Amber Horfros builds. 
the first set I'm gonna try it as um, I tried these three sets this other set here is only for the sharpness change if the set goes into green sharpness I would see how the values changes yes okay with the amber hoarfrost I can explain you that uh, program I already explained you that program in the 30 minutes video but may I gonna update this program okay we're gonna see here uh, wax 3 crit boost 2 crit i3 I always max out attack boost yes and with that build we got 123 um, cycle DPS and you can see here yes on, on the body 150 and on the legs 95 95 is pretty weak so uh, for instance for the tail from Diablos or the legs or other parts or, or the engine F or what else Yes, on the other set, oh that's no, sorry. On the other Amber Hoffrost set, I used uh, Wax 3, Crit Boost 3, one level of Maximum Might. You didn't need a jewel or anything, the Maximum Might skill comes from the armor parts. Yes, max out attack boost, and I calculated with Maximum Might's active, and we got 125 DPS. It's still pretty bad, you can see on the legs only 95. Yes, and now to my best build. I think the best build, you can see it here. You do uh, on a 40 raw hit zone value um, more than 10 DPS. So, and only less 3 DPS on a 60 hit zone value. So I highly recommend using uh, the barrier of switch X against Diablos or other ice weak monsters. Uh, without weakness exploit so you can see it here you can also click on this link here and a picture open it and we can see here all the damage numbers etc standard file damage is 31 or on the 40 hits and rally standard file damage is 21 or for instance uh, the dbs for loading our couch is 87 or 59 depending on the hit zone value or yes if we only in end state you can see we do a lot more dps 162 and 115 for the cycle with the rapid morph combo and all in all you can see here on the 60 hit zone value 149 dps and on the legs 106 which is pr the only set you can see here on the table which has uh, three digits so uh, it's it's pretty strong you can use on the set uh, this you can click on the on the build and the web page opens and you can rebuild this set you only have to click on search and so you can easily rebuild the set yes or you can see into data you only have to click on this pictures okay um, next thing I'm gonna show is you the set so we're gonna equip the set. Okay. Set decorations. This is a no crit build, uh, but I prefer. Uh, we are using attack boost seven. I prefer, uh, depending on the monster, to slot out free attack tools and slot in, for instance, uh, two. Mines I tools and the power prolonger tool, like I done it with in the Diablos run, because it's even more comfy and yes, you got better times at the end. Or you can also slot out three attack boost tools for free agitator or also for free counter strike. So this set is pretty viable, and that's the reason I I prefer this set most. Um, yes. Oh sorry, I forgot to show the ramp up skills. I see a lot of speedrunners or what else, they don't show the ramp up skill of this weapon. Uh, but the, the ramp up skill is one of the important skills on your entire set, so I'm gonna show it you. It's from the... Uh, here. You're using on the Switch X the attack boost 4 because it's by far the best 
ramp up skill you can use attack plus 10 increases your true raw from to uh, sorry 190 to 200 that's extremely powerful and that's also the reason why you can also use this switch x as a raw switch x uh, so i've also seen speedrunners using the switch x against monsters uh, yes that doesn't have the ice weakness because this weapon, this weapon is so strong and stronger than the Nargakuga switch axe. Yes, you can also use the switch axe as raw weapon. Um, yes, I'm going to show you the skills. Attack boost level 7, but you can also use attack boost 4 and counter strike level 3 or agitator level 3. That depends on your playstyle, or also, or you can also use protective polish instead of the free attack tools. Yes, crit I level seven. Uh, you get one hundred percent affinity with the set. You have forty percent from crit I, and thirty percent from the weapon. So that's seventy percent. And also, when maximum might doesn't triggers you got from the rousing roar from your cat 30% additional crit so you have 100% crit with the set if you have a cat with rousing roar yes ice attack maxed out crit boost level 3 speed dropping maxed out rapid morph maxed out yes also quick sheath and recovery speed that's all from my talismans yes and we have on the set 245 attack and 38 Ice and 70% crit without weakness exploit. That's extremely powerful. Yes, on the Amber Hall Frost uh, attack tool 2, on the Kaiser Crown a uh, frost tool 1, on the Barrier of Mail S uh, attack tool 2 and 2 frost tools, on the Lagombi Wamp Prices S uh, attack and a frost tool 1, on the Engine F Coil S a critical tool 2 and 2 grinder tools 1. And on the ingot boots, the grinder tool one. On our talisman, it's a rapid morph two talisman with two level two slots. And that's the reason we are we are using the Kaiser crown instead of the Almudron crown. And we have a critical and a quick switch tool on this talisman. Yes. I show you the run at the end of the video, but the next thing we're gonna do is I show you the best possible set for the Kuja Ladaora switch axe. It's a really powerful switch axe, actually it's not stronger than the Barrier switch axe, but I think that this switch axe has really high potential and I think in the update 3.0 it's gonna up out damage the Barrier switch x you can see it here um yes the set has 180 true raw if you're using the correct ramp up skill we get additional 30 percent affinity and yes the reason why the switch x is so strong because it has 39 ice attack and i think we can push it up to 55 ice attack so the ice attack of this switch x is stronger than the from the barrier of so you can see here only 29 ice attack okay so um okay i'm gonna show you the crucial other aura switch x the best build for the switch x i created two builds they are doing nearly the same damage but you can see on the one set we are doing two dps more so i can recommend the first set okay this is not the Best set from the weapon family, okay. On the first set, I've used, um, yes, Wax 3 on both sets, also Critical Boost 2 on both sets, Attack Boost level 7 on both sets, Critical Eye on my first set, and yes, you can see here the damage output. File damage like the Barrier set, 31 and 20, uh, 31 and 21. And yes, on a 60 hit zone value, 144 uh, cycle DBS, and on the legs, um, with, or a 40 raw hit zone value, 91 
DPS and that's all in all 117.6 DPS. And for the next build I swapped out Critical Eye level 2 and swapped in Power Prolonger level 2. Yes, and you know my self-programmed calculator has Power Prolonger support and you can see here this did even more damage. You can see here 149.6 and 106.1 and all in all 127.9 cycle DPS with this build. Uh, sorry, that was the wrong, this one. You can see here Power Prolonger 2, uh, yes. Sorry, I missed that was a set from the Barrier of Switch X. Okay, now I loaded the correct files. This is the set with a critical eye level 2, and you can see here we are doing, uh, yes, on a 60 hits on value 144 and 91, all in all 117.6 cycle DPS. And if you slot out this critical eye 2 and slot in Power Longer 2, we stay in M state for. 72 seconds, so that's 20% of our time not amped and 80% of, of our time amped. So that's pretty pretty good for a power file. And yes, you can see 120.2 cycle DPS. Yes, we're, and uh, we are using power prolonger level 2. And you can see actually the Amber Horfrost and the Aura Sfarasa both sets are out damaging the Knight's Crescent build. Okay. This is the best Knight's Crescent DBS build actually, with Agitator 3 and Attack Boost 4. Yes, and the Daora Sfarasa and the Amber Horfrost out damage the actually best raw set, Nargakuga set. They're gonna show you that set. I actually didn't have made any runs. But um, I recommend the Barrier Switch X set for monsters with bad draw hit zone values and good elemental hit zone values. And you can use the, the Aura Switch X set for monsters with high hit zone values. Okay? So I show you the ramp up skill. The ramp up skill is Kushlata Aura Soul. This ramp up skill gives you additional 30% affinity. It's it's like a little bit like chain crit from the Astalos set from Generations Ultimate. Not exactly the same, but yes. Okay, on this set with the Daras Faraza one, you can use the set as preparation set for version 3.0. Like I explained, I think the Daras Faraza. It's 100%, you can see it's only the first step, got an upgrade, and yes, you can now build the set, and the only thing you have to do now when the 3.0 update came out, you only have you to upgrade your switch axe, and now boom, you have the best ice switch axe set, okay? So that's a preparation build. Um, yes, the set skills, attack boost level 7, Ice Attack level 5, Weakness Exploit level 3, Speed Sharpening level 3, Rapid Morph maxed out, Critical Boost level 2, Power Prolonger level 2, Latent Power level 1, also a Weight Extender. And that's pretty cool. Though a Weight extend Extender comes from the Ura Todos Male, which gives us Power Prolonger 2 and Weight Extender 1. I think it's one of the best armor pots you can use for Switch X. Okay, now to the decos. On our Switch Axe, the first jewel 1. On our Almudron Helm, S2 Tenderizer jewels. On our Jura Todos Male, 3 Grinder jewels. On our Rathalos Project, S a Tenderizer jewel. On our Engine F Coil, S a Attack and 2 Frost jewels. And on our Golden Hack Hammer, 2 Frost jewels, level 1. On our Talisman, we are using a Rapid Morph level 1 Talisman with 2 level 2 slots, 2 Attack jewels, level 2. Yes, and now we're go I'm gonna show you the, the ice attack. You can see 50 ice attack. The barrier of switch axe only has 39 or so. I can, you can see it here. 
Our Barrier of Set has 260 attack and 38 element and our Daoras Farasa has 238 attack and 50 element. But please don't forget that elemental fire alts boost your element by 45%. Okay, now I gonna show you the the run, the Diablos run with the Barrier Switch X. I know my my last run in version 1.2 I needed my best run was 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Yes, and now I reached sub 4 with the new build. With the no wax build. Yes. Please use a switch X without weakness exploit, it's really worth it. You can test it yourself. And yes. If you wanna see a run with the Kushlata Aura switch X, you can write it in the comments down below. Or you can also write down in the comments what element you wanna see next, what I elemental switch axes you wanna see next. I also heard the Shura Todos switch X is pretty good because it has 232 raw. Yes, you can write it down in the comments or maybe I make a policy or next time I, I add uh, the run.